a podcast musical with King George the Third. Thirty six questions. From Broadway to podcast. Jonathan Groff is no stranger to musical theater. Having recently played King George the Third of England in Lynn Manuel Miranda's popular Broadway show Hamilton and nominated for the Tony Award in 2015 for Best Featured Actor in a Musical for his role as a Hanoverian King during the American Revolution. After listening to You'll Be Back and its two melodic reprises, What Comes Next and I Know Him, Groff became a recognizable name. So early in 2018, when I was first outlining my audio essay for the feed, I looked to Radio Public's podcast librarian feature for assistance. One of the shows they recommended was 36 Questions. It was from the creators of Limetown, a podcast which, at the time, I knew nothing about. The words musical and duck side character stood out, and I found myself listening to the first act. Fast forward and singing, open chipmunk style. Moving ahead a few months, and the second act remained untouched. Surprisingly enough, Act 2 is the next best part after the finale. Spoilers, I cried. In a romantic comedy. Never thought I'd say the words, but here we are. The middle section has the catchiest musical numbers, like We Both and Reality, and they have such different styles. One upbeat but sung with an almost pop song vocal range. The other is melancholy, with a hint of that Broadway flair in the way Groff captures his character through the sound of his voice alone. The lyrics only add to the conflicting emotions we feel for him and his situation. Despite partially agreeing with Groff's character in the beginning, the scene which packed the most punch came from the third act, and the Verge of Tears performance from Jesse Shelton as they held back my own. It was such a powerful yet basic emotion that even as I write this, I'm getting a bit misty-eyed. Four and a half out of five stars. Welcome to the podcast about audio drama and our eight-year journey into the reviewing of the art form. You can find several different shows on the Audio Drama Reviews media network, like our What We Listen To newsletter, our exclusive archived audio reviews feed for Patreon supporters, where old reviews become new and in stereo too, and of course, audio and text reviews of your favorite audio dramas. Visit audiodramareviews.com. Next time on Audio Drama Reviews. You're listening to radio station WKW in Chicago, Illinois. June 11th, 1945. Our big story. Brother man, brother man. How lucky do you feel today? Sorry, what? Numbers, brother. I'm talking about the policy wheel, country. Name's not country. It's Jimmy. Welcome to Bronzeville, my brother. The wheels keep spinning. Nothing can stop them. That was Curtis Eyeball Randall. He built all that. Then he handed it off to Everett Copeland. Zeke, Jesse, my brother. Everett. <laughs> All of it. They got a piece of it. The hospital, the library. Hell, they own the best club. I was neck deep in all of it, Anna. I knew that when I met you, baby. How I get so lucky to end up with you? Lord watches over all of us. He delivered me to you just as surely as he delivered you to me. Listen, Curtis, I'm asking you... You're asking me to go back to doing what I used to do. I don't know if Jesse can keep it all together. Everybody, down on the floor! Someone hit the department store, someone hit the bank. Put the money in the bag! If I do what you're asking me to do, Everett, we risk losing everything. Lisa Copeland. Lisa Copeland. That is Miss Lisa Copeland. The best way to stay in charge is to make him think he's in charge. Do I think you need to be protected? Nah. That might be why I like you, Jimmy. Well, as I live and breathe, better off with Bonds. Hello, Zeke. Frank Bonds been in town the past few weeks. He's doing business, he's hitting clubs, he's all over. <laughs> all these color folks, we all get together. We got some real power in this town. You need to stand strong. Company go! When the day comes that you're standing in front of him, the day when you are about to be judged. 
Are you going to be able to meet his eye? Are you going to tell him you never line the devil's pockets? There's always someone tougher waiting to take a shot. You gotta be smart. You gotta be ready for anything. Ronsville.